everyone, and welcome back to another edition of the Valley Vlog. My name is Callan Forrester, and if you don't know already, this is a video series done by The Gleaner, where I try out fun COVID safe activities that you can do from the safety of your own home while still feeling connected to your community. Sticking with our summer vlog theme, today I'm going to be making an extra special summer treat. Strawberry shortcake has to be one of everyone's favorite summer desserts. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a strawberry shortcake with a lemon cornmeal cake. This recipe is sure to satisfy all of your summery cravings, so let's get started. Hello and welcome to my kitchen in my new apartment. This cake is super delicious and it goes so well with fresh strawberries and cream. For your dry ingredients, you'll need flour, cornmeal, sugar, baking powder, and salt. This recipe is a little funny because sugar is usually considered a wet ingredient, but in this recipe, it is considered a dry one. For your wet ingredients, you'll need buttermilk, eggs, butter, vanilla, and lemon. To start, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and grease your baking tins. I'm using cupcake tins because I wanna make miniature versions of this cake, but you can use whatever you want. Just make sure you adjust the baking time. Now you're gonna mix all of your dry ingredients in one bowl. Now mix together all of your wet ingredients except for your butter. Once you have three separate mixtures, your butter, your flour mixture, and your wet mixture, you can combine all three together. And just like that, your batter is ready to be put in your pan and baked in the oven. Now that your cakes are in the oven, it's the perfect time to whip your cream and prep your strawberries. All I'm adding to my cream is a little bit of sugar and a little bit of vanilla. You can sweeten it to your liking. I don't like it super sweet, but feel free to add a whole cup if that's what you prefer. I am gonna add just a little bit of sugar onto my strawberries after they're chopped. I just find that this brings out the juices a bit more and it's so nice to dip your cake into that fresh strawberry juice. So I did just learn that I do not own a whisk in this apartment yet, but that just means I get to teach Teach you another hack today. If you don't have a whisk, you can fill a water bottle full of cream and then shake it until it turns to whipped cream. Be careful not to go too far because then you'll get butter, but you should know the difference. Once your cakes are done, let them cool completely before assembling them with your cream and your strawberries. Pause the video! I just wanted to come on here super quick to remind everyone that September 22nd is our farm supplement. Do you have story ideas? Do you want to advertise? Let us know. This is sure to be an incredible addition. Let's get back to the cake. All right, everything is ready and cooled. Now it is time for the assembly. Look at this final product. This is a massive cupcake, but oh my goodness. Tell me that doesn't look perfect. Tell me you don't want to take a bite of that right now. Before we can decide if this is the perfect strawberry shortcake, I have to taste it. This is perfection. The cake is a little bit savory with the cornmeal, but the lemon really comes through as like a nice zesty punch. The strawberries are sweet and delicious. The cream balances everything out with that nice creamy texture that coats your mouth. <gasps> wow, this dessert is so delicious and it was so simple. It is perfect for anything like a barbecue or a potluck or even just a weeknight dessert. I would love to see pictures of you making this dessert. So if you try it out, please send them in. That concludes this week's edition of the Valley Vlog. Thank you so much for watching. But before we go, we have to remember to put something in our good things of 2021 jar. This week, I graduated college. It was very bittersweet and very emotional, but I'm so happy to be here. And I'm just really proud of myself and my whole class. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, comment down below and share it for the world to see. And let me know in the comments, what do you want to see me do next? And what did you put in your good things jar this week? And as always, please stay safe, stay healthy, take care of each other, and I'll see you very soon.